Hi, David O'Dell here with O'Dell Complete Concrete. Today we're going to be showing how to fill in a sunken living room with concrete. This is the only room that's at a different elevation in this house on the first floor. And uh, they wanted to make it all at the same level because it was a trip hazard, especially for visitors. And this is how I do it. Since they have tile, or it's a porcelain tile on the on the covering the floor down there, we're just going to put the concrete right over the top of it. Tying rebar, 3-8 rebar, at about two and a half, three foot centers. And I'm gonna spray a bonding adhesive on the tile so that the concrete bonds to the tile. Putting visqueen around the walls because this is drywall and I don't want the water from the concrete to absorb into the drywall. So that visqueen goes all the way to the floor. The rebar is all dobied up. So that's just one less thing we have to deal with. We don't have to pull the rebar up like I usually do. It's already elevated. And the nice thing about this particular pour, what I did on the concrete, is I used a flowable mix. So the concrete we'll be using in here seeks its own level and it makes it perfectly flat. And you'll get a chance to see that as soon as we start pouring it here. This is the glue I'm putting on. A lot of times I'll dilute it down so it comes out of the sprayer nice and evenly. In this case, I just went 100%. This isn't diluted. That's why you can see how thick it is. It's going down kind of spotty. But we're getting about, you know, probably 80% coverage on that glue. Ten sixteen. the concrete has arrived and no pump. Pump has arrived. The concrete set out here for about, well, not too long actually, probably about 20 minutes. That's the primer coming out of the hose. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pull a bead off of this wall, and then all the way off of that wall. And now we're getting to the concrete part. And this is a special mix design so that you're still gonna get the same PSI, but it's it's a flowable mix. So um, we don't really have to screed this. If we don't, we're gonna screed it, but we really don't have to. Keep her going. going to kind of get it approximately in the right place and then as we run the bowl float over this and the other tools it's going to still move around it probably takes about 15 20 minutes to seek its own level completely but that's what it's going to um, inevitably do in here so we're going to have a perfectly flat pad the objective of the homeowner after we get this laid down is to continue their tile floor all the way through it looks like wood right there but that's actually tile here's the funny float going on it yeah and now we're using a funny trowel we're just about ready to go around the perimeter off of the sliders. As we um, go off the sliders around the perimeter of this, the trowel acts as our razor knife so we can cut the plastic off at the same time. And this is just the first pass by hand. We'll probably make one or two more passes depending on how it looks. That This is Tyler out on the sliders with the head cam.
notice um, they left the tile on the existing concrete at the higher elevation. So we just kind of eyeballed about three quarters of an inch below top of tile. That'll give them enough space for thin sand and tile to flush out. The main thing to remember though is it's better to be low with your concrete or, or base than high. Because you don't want to have to take hard concrete down. It's easier to bring it up with thin set or other fillers. So it's always better to be, if you're gonna make a mistake, make it low, not high. So we went over this with the sliders. Everything looked really good other than the middle. It seemed like it was a little wetter. So I went ahead and final touched it with the funny trap. Working it on a little bit better. Out. That about wraps up this job. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was informative for you. Helps you make a decision whether or not you want to fill in a room, whether you want to frame it in and build it up or concrete. In my opinion, concrete's best. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>